Right from his first film, our guest has proved his love and passion for cinema and continues to do so even today with his diverse choice of movies. With those acting skills, he's definitely here to stay. Welcome to Baate An Kahi with Ishan. Ishan, welcome to Pinkwilla. Thank you very much. Before we start the conversation, I have a small surprise for you. There is someone, actually two people, have sent something for you. I want okay. to play it for you, and I, of course, I want to see your reaction to it. Oh wow! Okay. Let's go for it. Wasn't expecting that. Sure. So this is an audio note, just to say that I am most blessed that my younger son Ishan. has brought so much joy and happiness in my life and so much triumph and pride and he is the easy breezy and most affectionate energy in our family within us and uh, everyone loves him a lot and he's much beloved of all chachu chachu <laughs> as you can hear and So I just like to say that when he was a young kid, he used to come. Whenever my friends would come, he would come and say, "Mom, can I borrow you for a minute?" <laughs> and he still does that. It's the cutest thing when I'm surrounded by people. Otherwise, he's fine. He's like doing his own thing. He's busy and he's, you know, all school. He gives me my space. But the moment he sees I'm surrounded by friends or people and I'm distracted, he still comes and says, "Mom, can I borrow you for a minute?" <laughs> and i feel like saying i'm sold <laughs> i'm sold out to you so he has brought great uh, pride in our lives also he's a dynamic dashing actor and uh, he's bringing Daddy. something interesting to that world for us and of course i'm very very proud of him and we all love him a lot he's the youngest so we adore him and he is adorable i love you ishan you're very special and you're very cherished and you have a deep beautiful place in my heart for you and i really love you chachu we all love you so much wow okay that's what i was expecting that your mother but my favorite part is <laughs> is that misha was zen uh, i think you hear both of them i was not expecting <laughs> that <laughs> and she must have just been around playing yeah. um yeah my mom is is very very loving and she is uh, darya dil so to say yeah so um she is the one uh, un uh, you know relenting source of love and energy for all of us and uh, she has no embarrassment and no qualms about expressing it she's always giving us love and empowerment and energy and uh, Uh, I'm very fortunate to have a yeah. parent like that. She's not a very strict parent. Yeah. Um she's very strong about her values but she's not a very strict parent and uh, I think she's very proud that we've tried to bring some sort of self discipline and and structure to our lives. Yeah. And I think um that's um she's a very liberal parent but um there's always been so much to so much to learn from that you know as, a, as i think it she's allowed us to grow into individuals which is rare yeah so i love you mom and uh, i always feel very good when i get love from her and encouragement yeah. amazing can i tell you my first impression of you where i first saw you at iskon temples auditorium where you were attending gulzar sahab's master class with sudhir mishra yeah i categorically remember you sitting in a corner and uh, you were intently listening to that whole conversation which is when when you signed beyond the clouds i wasn't very surprised is it ishan that you are naturally gravitated to more intense cinema and layered filmmakers i know you wanted to learn acting from nasir sahab also i think it's more of a personality thing i think it mm. kind of seeps into my choices as an actor like i've tried to understand this and i i as a as an audience i love all genres but maybe uh, you know i think as as a person it that kind of material um and when i say that kind of material it's it's difficult i i don't mean to club it all together i don't even mean genre specific but just something that's layered and yeah. and and goes deeper than just a superficiality superficial layer it's more intriguing to me it's more interesting for me and it's always captured me more as a person yeah. you know when when somebody is able to i really think cinema uh at its highest form i read this somewhere i think uh is like poetry yeah where in a few lines you can say so much yeah 
and at its at its bare minimum it should be entertaining hmm. you know so um i think if you can provide both of those things like that's always more exciting and and it could be it's tougher to to strike that balance not everything has the potential yeah i guess for that not all material has the potential but it's more exciting so maybe that's what i'd gravitate towards but having said that like i've only begun my journey and yeah. and i'm barely scratched the surface of the kind of work that i hope to do so yeah. um so yeah i i'll keep um, i'll keep uh, marching on and hopefully find more things that i'll be able to express myself through that uh, hopefully you enjoy as much as you um can delve into and and take back home and and remember and not just uh, enjoy momentarily sure what kind of films did you see did you when you grow up which also maybe gravitates you towards say a majid majidi cinema education has been a very b- big part of my education as a person hmm. like it's taught me a lot and i've always felt like very fascinated with the medium and it really captures me uh i don't want to use this uh, term or condition loosely but i believe i may be uh, like adhd so i have hyper focus but i also have uh you know uh, attention deficit yeah. so uh yeah. it's very tough to get, capture my imagination if something if if you it naturally doesn't and i think the story that i remember that my mom always tells me was i was very young when they first took me to a uh, not even young i was an infant when they first took me to a movie theater i was probably one and a half years old or something hmm. and i think it was a children's film or i don't know what it was but um i was inducted into it very soon into cinema yeah and you don't know with a kid of that age like how they might react so i think they were probably um uh, expecting that they might have to get up and step out at some point and like yeah. m- you know molly called me and calm me down and all but the movie started and i went like <laughs> and and just kind of got fixated for yeah. the next hour and a half till the interval happened and i didn't move and it was very concerning because they never seen me still as uh, a child uh. and uh, and then i started moving when the interval happened and they went they stepped out for popcorn or yeah. using the toilet or whatever and i wanted to go back in i kept doing this uh-huh. so i think i still have that fascination yeah for cinema um, and it's like i said been a big part of my personality man like and and i was lucky to um, be exposed to all kinds of cinema growing up yeah. my my mother played a big part in that my brother played a part in that my friends played a part in that and i had my own curiosity i used to go to film festivals uh, in my yeah. uh, in my teens i would do a lot of film I've festivals seen, we we've yeah, met it at mami i think yes. and ify and jagran and what not yeah. <laughs> so uh, and and shout out to all these festivals because young you know budding aspirational uh, artists like myself get to watch all these films on the big screen like jagran for example also uh, shows uh, you old classics hindi cinema yes. classics yes. that we otherwise our generation would never see on the big screen yeah you know unless you have a retrospective or something like yeah. amit ji ka hua tha bhi recently hua tha yusuf saab ka hua tha dilip kumar ka so um so yeah so those are the things that uh, uh i think pushed my um, or developed that kida so ah. to say that you have you know that yeah. uh, that was that stage yes you mentioned at some point nasir saab i would have i i didn't have the chance but i i would have loved to work uh with with him with his production Uh, with motley yes um and um uh, i was hoping to but m- much before that could even happen and he's busy and doing so many things yeah. uh, beyond the clouds happened for me theater is something that uh, fascinates me because it's 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 a different platform altogether and it's a it's a very different um style of working as an actor yeah. and that to me is uh, at least from where i am that's what it seems like that to me is fascinating so hopefully at some point i can metal with stage acting as well yeah but film acting is my first love have you seen his aurat 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 yes i've seen i've seen a lot of the ismat jukhtai uh, yeah. uh, you know productions he's done i've not seen the father though that i it's amazing i've heard is incredible yeah so i'm really looking forward to seeing him uh, i hope he does it again yeah how were you as a child i'm reminded very often that i was very cheerful and energetic and like jumpy like i For had sure. ants in my pants <laughs> and uh you know the, my brother keeps telling me this story of how i would stand in my pram and before i could even stand up i would use the pram to like assist myself up and every time he would enter the room or anyone would enter the room i'd start going <laughs> like that 
and i think uh, i think i've retained a little bit of that <laughs> hopefully yeah. that child um but yeah just i think i was a happy child yeah. i think i was a happy child and then i had a lot of conversations with myself which i still do hmm. i remember that uh, growing up as i as i grew up as i was you know 8 to 10 12 years old into my teens i would think a lot and have a lot of and i've been a quite a not unky child as well like <laughs> i i would play pranks very often and ha huh. create you know conjure up scenes in my mind i once convinced my nani that i was very ill um and she panicked and yeah. it was very cruel of me and i love her very much and she was one of the the most precious people in my life growing up but i maine bahut sataya unhe yaar maine unhe ek bar convince kar diya ki mujhe food poisoning ho gayi thi and i did this whole act and there used to be a kitchen window where, from where i used to like leave items and i would drink milk when she'd go to the other room and then i'd puke it out when she'd come and i i, I did this whole like um performance for her which which convinced her that i was i had food poisoning and it was very cruel but um, i i'd keep doing stuff like that. i don't i don't even know why I, you know i was conniving really <laughs> <laughs> you were just mischievous yeah. yeah yeah so you mentioned as as a child and as a teenager you used to have a lot of conversations with yourself what hmm. were these conversations so as an actor there's a very uh strange state of duality Hmm. that you find yourself experiencing very often uh it's that thing where you're experiencing life and you're going through it feeling an emotion but at the same time you're like there's another you observing yourself hmm. and sometimes it feels strange and it feels like you doubt yourself like is this healthy is this normal but it never feels unnatural hmm. it's just always there so i've always like there's always been an, a person watching me while i'm living my life and even going and experiencing an emotion and things like that so i think that i became aware of that very early it's just something i only became aware of the fact that most people don't experience life like that later which is when i realized this is something that i <laughs> that that maybe is a you know a personality thing or an, yeah. a thing that actors experience and um and i guess it helps you on a subconscious level with with your work and i think that's when the work starts becoming usme ravani tabhi aati hai is when it's more subconscious and not so thought out when you're not thinking what you're going to do in front of the camera so it's like it's that life preparation thing you know yeah. you're just constantly watching and being an observer is a very big part of uh, i think being a creative person in the film field only not just being an actor music and sound and dance and all those things are like heightened reality yeah but uh, somebody who observes life i think is able to uh, express it very well is able to portray it well yeah things at home were not so easy when you were growing up of course because of what was happening uh, with your mom and your dad did it at was any life point? easy for any way life yeah yeah of course ups and downs yeah yeah of course which is why did it have any impact on your thinking on those times i think uh, i've i think i've always dealt with uh, adversity in a way that it's almost like i'm watching how much can i bear or mm-hmm. how much can i take or how much can i uh, what's the word sabar yeah. and, you know and um, i i have always felt that um, adversity builds character if you're able to get through the situation yeah. because the tides keep changing and if nothing else you just wait you know and uh, i don't think of it as a bad thing like i don't get very caught up with it i'm not i don't feel i'm very caught up with the past lovely um i feel like whatever's happened in my life has made me the person that i am today yeah. and i feel i feel there's a lot that i want to achieve and i'm yeah. i'm very i'm very ambitious in many ways as an artist at least i i hope to be yeah but um i feel proud of the person in general that i am yeah you should be thank you, you thank be. you that's very kind of you to say but it's it's important to feel that yourself yeah. and i think um, i don't i don't uh, hold on to things in the past and think of them very negatively often i like to look at it like it was a learning if yeah. nothing else yeah. you know it was a learning yeah i can relate to that you know it can sound cryptic when we're talking about life but not yeah, talking yeah. about what everyone has their own journey and experiences and all but in general i'm also very grateful like i've also been very lucky you know i've i don't think it's all me it's not it, i definitely don't think that yeah 
my experiences have made me who I am. So yeah. um, I'm. I think in many ways I've also been very lucky. Like I've been able to see the positive in things. Yeah, it's not all from me. You know, it's people around me. I've been lucky to have some really wonderful people. Around yeah. Me. Yeah. Tell me one nice thing about working with Vishal Bhardwaj, Meera Nair, and Majid Majidi. Yeah, all stalwarts <laughs> in their own right. Um, <coughs> I'll start with Majidi sir because yeah. he was my first director. The first ever thing he told me after he cast me, he sat me down in a room and he had an interpreter with him. Yeah. Um, Artha, shout out to our our fellow Artha, who who translated everything he said. He would speak in Persian, oh. and he told me. Uh, I know that you want to be a a great actor and you know a, and a good artist and all of that but uh, try to be a good person mm. in life everything that you want will come from there from that place but let that be your endeavor yeah. and um, you don't have to be a good person to be a technically a very good actor i guess yeah but it's just when you're on the onset of that journey and you're so impressionable as very well, lucky to hear that from him you know um like you don't have to also be a where well, i so the lack of a better way of saying it, like you don't have to be a jerk or a moron to be deeply invested in your craft and stuff yeah. like that yeah. um so i've tried to be as as uh, you know i've tried to stick to that as much as i can majidi sir was somebody who was like a life coach almost right yeah but the greatest thing about him as a director i think is uh, his um, keen observation his the just the way he he uh, is able to change the like the vibration of a room you know he has an aura yeah. and just by fixing one little thing in like it's just the way that he would work even with production design for example he come and he'll change one little thing and pick it up and put it there and like the whole frame feels different suddenly you know and same thing with actors like he'll come and he'll tell you one small note or one fine thing he'll know when to direct when not to direct uh, an actor that's something that i've also that he probably was a master of and he would not uh, hesitate to tell an actor when he feels the stakes are very high he says this is a very important scene for you mm. you know and so you carry that energy with yeah, you you know yeah. that you know um so many things with him many many things miradi is uh, uh, so just so wonderfully um i think a articulate so she is able to communicate very well uh, uh, especially when she is prepping for a project the way she sets it up her um understanding of culture because she's been a global citizen and somebody who's seen many worlds and 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 interacted with all kinds of people uh, her education um you know she is deeply invested in culture and in the human condition and you can see that and she's she she really brings her world to life very accurately because she's a very good technician yeah. that way she gets fantastic people on board she also has a a, a great knack for bringing people together like a great team yeah you know a great crew uh, uh, she she cast good actors and give them good parts mm. you know so miradi has a lot of lot of very inspiring uh, qualities mm. she is a force of nature and she's very like yeah she's strong yeah, you know she she's a she's a yeah. strong independent um, you know successful but wonderfully you know soft woman yeah. she's she's a woman at her core and she brings that in her art, art in such a beautiful way yeah uh, her it's her lens it's the feminine gaze that she has that it's it's just different you know the way she'll see a scene she'll she let the camera roll a little longer if she's just if there's a lingering moment it's stuff like that you know yeah um those are the things that i think are really remarkable about miradi vishal sir i've only had the experience of working on this short film Uh, so we shot for nine days for that film together, but those nine days were just so joyful and delightful. And he was having a great time because it was a musical, yeah. and um, we were shooting on an iPhone, so it was e- exciting and new. And um, it had its own set of challenges, but its own advantages as well. Yeah, you know, our DOP Swapnil would just pick up the camera and get in on the action whenever he felt like, which was very liberating. So. it was a really fun experience with vishal so but i feel like 
hopefully we have a lot more to explore going forward yeah his mind is fascinating you know like yeah. he's it's the way he looks at text the way he looks at a scene he can find humor in the littlest things yeah. you know and and his dark humor and it's like really yeah, really yeah. is delicious yeah um like he gave me a lot of direction as an actor that i've that i found i found very very interesting it was acting direction yeah you know like he would tell me to say a certain thing a certain way just one little thing in the whole scene bahut badhiya hai isko na tum aise keh do thoda and 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 we try that it just be really fun and different and break the scene and change the tone of the scene only suddenly yeah. ki ek cheez aise keh di so uh, uh, he's very nuanced yeah and uh, and he's very child like when he gets something he likes like he becomes like a child and i love that like yeah. he he really like lives for the the moment you know i was so consumed in that film that when you threw the dud dashak in the fire na even i went <laughs> <laughs> like mujhe de rete hai <laughs> no one can see the future if he can't see the future <laughs> that's true it's in, but it's an amazing 30 minute short film I, everyone who's not seen i i insist that they should see it glad you enjoyed it on shahid kapoor's birthday recently you wrote this and it cracked me up you said my elder tree i may grow taller or even bushier <laughs> but it's all because of your shade and nurturing love you and trouble you always what is this caption <laughs> does, does open he... to interpretation <laughs> no i was referring to head hair certainly to head hair um well i mean he is that person i say tree also because he's like the grounded he's the person who grounds me mm. you know Achha. he's 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 a very uh, rooted grounded person and he's very deep and it's a very big part of who he yes, is everyone is. who knows him like we joke about it a lot i call him baba sasha mm-hmm. but um, it's who he is and he he is that one person in my life who's like a consistent a uh, male figure who's always like kept me in check and he i think he's felt very parental towards me also because he's changed my diapers you know he was yeah. nearly 15 when i was born and, yes um so and he didn't have an elder sibling yes you know? so he was that sibling for me he's very much the quintessential elder brother in many ways yeah but he's also young at heart so uh, so we have a very in unique relationship yeah he's your elder brother but you also do these amazing bike trips we've done it twice so far and it's been probably one of the most thrilling adventures that we've had together um because it's so nice to travel uh, on the road yeah in places that you would you end up seeing places otherwise you never would you know you end up seeing new places you yeah. live at some sleepy little village or like some some town that you would never have heard of in your life otherwise now so far we've done these trips overseas but we hope to do a lot more and hope to cover some ground here as well halaki in my teens i have i have traveled uh, our country a fair amount yeah. so i'm a little fascinated by traveling abroad still so <laughs> very lucky to get to do these bike trips and live in these little interesting places that you never even heard of this past year uh, the 2022 that just uh, uh, went by we did a trip in south of france yes. and uh, it was really really cool Yeah. and uh, we did like 9 days of riding and uh, yeah one of the best ways to travel if you I'm so lucky to be able to do it yeah yeah another one in the planning hopefully <laughs> hopefully we have to plan these almost like movies or something now because to get everyone together kunal yeah. bhai kunal kim was part yeah, of our group yeah, yeah. this as the same raja sir was with us yeah and uh, a couple of other friends of ours so yeah yeah do you spoil the kids do i spoil the kids Misha and Zain, yeah. my niece and nephew, of course. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, so they have a lot of fun with me. I think I try to have fun with them, and yeah. um, but they're very smart kids. Honestly, they're extraordinarily smart. Like sometimes I can't even believe the conversations I'm having, especially with Misha. Acha. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I, I, I dote on them. But yeah, it's true. Like sometimes I can't even believe the conversations I have with them because they they seem too smart for their age. <laughs> and and I, I think what's remarkable for me is not just uh, IQ, but but when a kid is emotionally intelligent, yeah, uh, enough to feel or get a sense of what an adult is feeling, and try and correlate that. You know, that's. Honestly, it's just bizarre to me yeah. when when a six-year-old or a four-year-old can like pick up on an adult's feelings. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I learn a lot from them for sure. Yeah. Uh. And I dote on them, so I don't know if I spoil them, but um, yeah, I try. I try not to because they have very good parents, so I don't feel the pressure of 
<laughs> I don't feel the pressure, so I can spoil them a little bit. Yeah, sure. absolutely. And it was evident from <coughs> "I Love You, Chachu" <laughs> that yeah. they said in the oh, audio night. I just did too much fun. They're my playmates. Yeah, my playmates. Sure. What's happening next? What are you working on now? I uh, am preparing for the release of Pippa, hmm. and uh, there's a project that I'm prepping towards right now that uh, I will wait for the official announcement of. Tell now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'd be I think it'd be nicer when you hear it. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm kidding. Straight from the source. Yeah, yeah. But it's very exciting. It's a uh, totally new ground for me, and uh, it's uh, it's a really cool part, and it's um, it's gonna take a whole new, you know. Like refreshing of my process to, um, to experience. Yeah. And I think uh, that's always a good thing. It's always a good thing to be on your toes a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. So there's something I'm prepping towards that will, uh, you know, come to the fore very soon. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to everything you're doing in the future. Thank you so much, Ishan. This is a thank you, thank you very much. Thank I really so enjoyed much. talking to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Ishan. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Pink Villa.